Hi everybody, we're really excited to share with you Zilliqa Testnet V1.0. So first of all, you can see here we have bought 1,000 nodes, which is 4 shards that we're stress testing right now. We're achieving about 2,000 to 1,800 transactions per second. And next, we're going to move on to the wallet interface. So here you can see there's a little wallet. We're going to click on get started. Click on create new wallet. And click to generate a new address. So here you can see your public address as well as your private key. So as you know, your public address is something that you can share with other people. It's like your account number, but your private key is something that you should keep secure and only to yourself. So what we're going to do here is we're going to copy our public address. And click on continue. So next, what we're going to do is set a password for our JSON key file and then download it into our local hard disk. So now we've downloaded our JSON file into our local hard disk. We're going to go back to the Zilliqa wallet interface and we're going to click on get started again and access the existing JSON file that we've downloaded. Key in the old password that we've actually put in and decrypt it. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to try sending a transaction to ourselves. So what we're going to do is key in our public address and put in a zero balance transaction and then click on send. So now you can see the transaction ID, which we're going to copy. And we're going to go back to the Explorer. So if you want to check your transaction with the Explorer, what you can see now it is that it has appeared on the latest transactions. Now this is a clean slate, so you can see it appearing. And if it hasn't, what you can actually do is search for the transaction ID under the search bar. And that's it. Thank you for testing and we hope you have a good time testing the Zilliqa blockchain. Thank you very much.